So it's working. Mm -hmm. I fixed my laptop. So it's working. Fix it. Yeah, I put a new operating system on it. Yeah. The newer version. <laughs> yeah. No, I keep meaning to download it. I, so I will try it. I will try it. It's kind of a, like a hacking operating system. Kali Linux. Right, so resistivity. So you can probably guess almost from the name what it's related to. Resistance. Yeah, resistance. So we're talking a bit more about resistance now. Objective of resistance? Mm -hmm. Resistivity. What do you think it is? Objective of resistance. Objective? Objective. Oh, adjective. Yes. Um, you know, I don't know actually. I think it's still a noun. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that. I still think it's a noun. Resistivity. No, so no, not adjective. Not adjective. I don't actually know what the adjective is. I'll have to think about it. Um, okay. Right, so you don't need to write this bit down, just listen. All electrical devices, bulbs, TVs, PCs, phones, etc., uh, they offer resistance when the current passes through them. Okay? So it doesn't matter. Oh, Amanda, are you looking at Facebook? No. Oh, come on. It doesn't matter what it is. If there's a current going through it, there's resistance. Okay? So there's always resistance. Always resistance. Uh, a resistor is a noun. Uh, it's an electrical device that offers a known fixed amount of resistance. So I actually, I think have I got the picture here? No, I don't have the picture. You use sometimes to convert volume to uh, no. No, a resistor is a small little. No, no just wait. Relax. Relax, relax. 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 A resistor is something small, um, you know, it'd be only like this big, and the resistance in it is known and it's fixed. So like you can buy these online. So for example, I bought a one, no sorry, I bought three one ohm resistors, you know. So I know these little resistors all have one ohm in them. So you can buy a big resistor, small resistors, they have fixed resistance. Everything has resistors in it to help. No, in the mobile, they have the smart media fixed. Resistors? Uh, everything has to help for what? Resistors are in, well, we'll see what they're used for, but all I'll say right now is. It's saying your mobile, you know. Mm, we'll talk about it later. Uh, all I'll say about resistors right now is the resistance in them is constant. It's fixed and it's known. So Some people call it IC. Hmm? IC. I don't know this word. You'll have to check it. Yeah. Anyways, they're used in experiments. Uh, normally the work done is heat. So these little resistors, when you put a current in it, they get warm. Okay, so like if this was a resistor, if you put a current through it, it'll feel warm. That's what normally happens. Okay? Um, so really they're like small heaters. Yeah, really. yeah. I think everything has it in it. Everything has them in them. Okay, oh, there's a picture. So, for example, this could be a picture of a one ohm resistor. You know, they're like this big only. Okay. So, my question now is, there's my resistor and there's resistance in it. What do you think affects the level of resistance? Um, for example, um, how do you think the ore will change? Do you think the length affects it? If the, if the resistor was longer... Do you think that's more or less the same? Uh, more. more. Yes, it does affect it, okay? Uh, what about the diameter or the radius or the shape? Yes, yes. It affects it. Yes. Now, what do we think? Bigger makes more, more, more or less? Bigger makes bigger? less. No, bigger makes less, yes. So if, the, if it was a bigger circle, yes. that is more or less resistance? Less, less resistance. Less. It is actually, yeah, there's less resistance. Uh, so yes, and the type of material. Yes, yes. yes, of course, yeah, yeah, yes. So in fact, we have a formula to calculate the resistance. Now, just before you write it down, this L is uh, length, this A is area, and this is a constant we'll talk about in a moment. So the formula for OR is that, where L is length, A is the area, 
And, oh sorry, that's rho, that's this symbol here, is a constant. It's still R. This is big R, and this is a constant called rho. This one here. Mm. Yeah. What is it? That's A, you said? Uh, Area. Area. Okay, it's similar, I guess. How do you going to pronounce it Rio? Rio de Janeiro? So the resistivity, resistivity is and the resistance is also... No, no, the resistivity uh, is the uh, row here. Yes. So the resistivity, uh, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Do you have this formula? Oh, well, what's the unit for OR? Ohms, yeah. length, meter, area, Me squared. So we'll talk about the row separately in a moment. Okay, got that? Did you write that down? No, I didn't write any words down. I don't understand what Well, we write it down. Pretend like you don't know. How do you have your thing? All right, fine. Uh, right, can I go on? So... This row here is called the resistivity. So tell me, what do you think? If this is big, does it make the OR bigger or smaller? Bigger. Bigger. And if this is small, then this is smaller. So what about something like if I made it from wood? Is wood good or bad? Yeah. High resistance or low resistance? Mm -hmm. High resistance in wood. It's difficult to have a current in wood. So do you think that makes the row big or small? Small. Big. Because you want to make the ore big. So if I use bad material, that will be big? Yes. If you use bad conductors, the ore and the resistivity will be big. Yeah. So wood, high resistance, metal, low resistance. Resistivity measures um, how much, an uh, you don't need to write this down because it's not a formal definition. Uh, it's a measure of how much an electrical conductor stops the flow of electricity through it. So in other words, if this is big, it stops the electricity and if it's small, it's easy for the electricity. Most metals have a very low resistivity uh, and the units, so what is the units here? You could actually work it out. Uh, what's L over A? Meter over meter squared. So what's L over meter? M over meter squared? Me one over meter. Yeah. So I bring the M up here, and you can see that rho must be meter ohm. So it's the ohm meter. That's the unit. Ohm meter. Like this. That's the unit for rho. And it's for measuring how much resistivity there is. Yeah. So what you can at least write down, no actually I would like you to write this down, yeah yeah, uh, because I just remembered that they did ask this in the exam once, the definition, now please remember you can put these things in your own words, so I could just say resistivity is a measure of the difficulty for a current to pass through it, no like you don't have to have it word for word like this. You can check it up on Google too. If you want to see their definition. What is the SI? SI means the standard units, like meter, meter squared, the normal units we use. I, you can just change that word to units. The units are ohm meter. Yeah, you got that? That's okay. Yeah. Once you know what this word means, do you know what it means? 
If you don't know what it means, maybe you should write it down and read it later. What do you think? Or watch it again. You could even just say, if you wanted to make something short, you could just say, resistivity measures the difficulty for a current to pass through. Yeah. So if the resistivity is big, then that means it's difficult for the current, which means there's lots of resistance. Resistivity is big, so that's difficult for the current to pass. Yeah. To pass yeah. That's it. Just something to help you remember its meaning. So you can write down some of this, all of it, or your own sentence. Something to help you remember the meaning. If the resistivity is big, so... Uh, it is difficult for the current to pass through. You can write something like that. Yeah. yeah? Okay, can I go on? So what I was saying is this is not a formal definition. You know, it's okay to have it in your own words. Right. So just to be clear, a resistor, actually a resistor, uh, a resistor will offer some appreciable level of resistance and will not always but often have a high level of resistivity. So this is what we were just saying a moment ago. If it's a lot of resistance, then we say there's lots of resistivity. Yeah. And a conductor, what do you think about a conductor, if you know this word? A conductor uh, will not have much resistance and will often have a low level of resistivity. So copper, is that a conductor or a resistor? Conductor. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change that word, resistor. I don't like it there. Um, I have a better word. Does anyone know the opposite of uh, conductor, if you've done it in chemistry? Insulator. Use a chemistry word. Insulator. Insulator. Yeah. Uh, so I won't, I won't say resistor. I want to change that to insulator. Have you done this word with Lorraine? No. Huh? No. No, but you knew it from chemistry before. Insulator is the opposite of conductor. Have you done conductor with Lorraine? Yes. yes. In, yeah. a way. In a way. Yeah. Have you heard this word before? Or am I using these words when you don't know them? Conductor and insulator. Insulator. So what, this here, conductor or insulator? Wood. No, no, insulator. Metal? Conductor. Plastic, insulator, um, uh, glass, insulator. <laughs> no, we want a material. Uh, what about um, <laughs> what else? What about um, what about rubber, rubber, insulator? Yeah. Uh, what uh, what about if you had some coins, metal coins? No, oh, conductor, coins, metal coins, metal coins. Stick, yeah, stick a coin in there and see what happens. Uh, body, what do you think? You look like chalk. Not conductor, so well. What is not metal? Yeah, it's no, 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 no. Body would be um, middle. Middle, yeah, like it's an insulator, but if there's enough. Current, it could pass through. So the things are flexible. That's uh, insulator. No. I can't. No, no. It's fair enough. It's not like there's a clear point at when one becomes the other. So generally, if it's easy, we just say conductor. But what's easy? Yeah. You know? So yeah, it's not well defined. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not quite as simple as that because you can pass. It's a general definition. Yeah, but that's the point I'm making. <laughs> um, okay, can you just change that word to insulator? Yeah, not resistor, insulator. Should I write that down? Uh, yes. Actually, I'll ch I've changed it here for you. Let me open up the new one. 
Huh? Nothing changed. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, insulator instead. Okay, I'll open up a new one. Um, whoops, sorry. That's how you spell insulator. Okay, so let me open this up again for you. You will do words like this with Lorraine, conductor and insulator. She used them in class. She has used them in class. No, okay. but she doesn't explain, you know, like she does in class. Okay. Most people know this. Most people know these words, but not everybody. Yeah. Okay. An insulator and then a conductor. you have this, yeah? You wrote this down? You are fastest. Mm. Yep. Do you have this? I can go on? Well, I don't need to go to a new slide. this but you know this doesn't have everything in it because I handwrite some of the stuff you know I can give it to you but I don't think it's enough by itself because I handwrite the examples you know so no no I mean because you know we just do it in order to import and stuff but you know the little things that come through oh okay okay I understand yeah okay so let's have a look at some materials, okay? The first one, carbon, graphite. Does anyone know that material? Yeah, it's in your pencil. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. No, she can. Uh, what? Yeah, go on, what were you saying? Huh? You know this material? Yeah. In your in pencil. pencil. Yep, yeah. that's it. Does it have a high or low resistivity? Very low, minus six. You see that? Uh, sorry, these units are ohm meters. Uh, so is it a conductor or a resistor? It's a conductor. Conductor now, or insulator? Uh, uh, conductor. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should really say insulator, shouldn't I? Well, it's not that it, resistor is wrong. It's just, it's a grammar thing. Uh, right. Now, I just want, I need, you need to use these numbers in your questions. So can you make no carbon and its value? <coughs> so write the, the name and the number. <coughs> you, need to oh, you don't need to remember them because they're in the exam, but you need to write them down so you can do the questions today. So why is it after 500? Zero zero? Fine. Because it's norm yeah, true. It's normal to write it in more formula accurate. books like this. Yeah. yeah. Like more accurate. Just to make it clear that you're doing it to three significant figures. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, next one is copper. Which is which is a better conductor? Copper or carbon? Copper. Why? Because it is smaller than the carbon. Was that the door? Okay. 
Next material, nickel. See, these are just some examples, but they're common examples in the exam, so that's why I want to give them to you. So far, which is the best conductor here? Nickel. Copper. Copper has the smallest value. Okay, next, Nick Chrome. Also a conductor. Nick Chrome is better than only carbon, but worse than copper and nickel. Uh, the smallest so far, Smaller. yeah. Okay. Nick chrome is an important material because that is what's used, I think, in electric heaters. So if you ever need to make some heat, you can pass a current through this material that's used to make heat, like in electric heaters. Nick chrome? Yeah. yeah. Use heat. No. And what's my use cover to be better? Well, no. the... It's not just more. It's not just about which is better or worse. It's also which is cheapest too. Uh -huh. Copper is quite expensive, actually. Expensive. It is actually, yeah. So a uh, nick chrome, I believe, is cheaper than copper because nick chrome is a uh, nickel and chromium. It's cheaper than copper. But you know, all have different properties too. So what do you mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's many, many other reasons. I think money is probably one of the biggest ones. That's where you choice. Huh? Not anymore. It used to be. It's made of something that uh, looks like uh, it's not copper. They paint it brown to make it look like copper. Coins aren't coins aren't actually made of copper anymore. It used to be gold. Coins. Yeah. I mean, coins used to be made of copper, and they used to be made of nickel, but they're too expensive nowadays. And what? Gold, Gold and yeah. silver. Yes, these are too expensive nowadays. Um, okay, next one is wood. And you can see wood is an insulator. It's a resistor because it has a really high value. Really high compared to the others, isn't it? Rubber is also very high. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, these are some example values what you could expect. Uh, in fact, you could make a resistor out of a conductor. You just need to use more of the material to do it. So remember I said, um, uh, well, not necessarily more actually. Uh, if you, everything has some resistance in it. So actually, I know copper is a conductor, but you can make it in such a way that it acts like a resistor. It can have uh, more resistance in it. This we'll have a look at later, though. But you know, the wood is Huh? The wood? Yeah. It's just kind of slow because of everything that was slow, kind of slow in the tree. Oh, there is. What do you think happens when lightning hits a tree? The current goes through the tree. So if you have enough, it'll go through it. The lightning doesn't. The lightning doesn't bounce off the tree, does it? So it goes through the tree to the ground. Yeah. So, although wood is an insulator, you can still have a current going through it if there's enough of it. Because you know they connect to the uh, earth. earth. Yeah. Yeah, but it still has to pass through the tree to get to the earth. It doesn't jump there around the tree, you know. Uh, right. Uh, so let's do the first question here. So um, I don't think we have it in the room. Does anyone have these at home? An electrical heater. Yeah. So electrical heater. All that an electrical heater is, let me draw it for you. It's very simple, actually. Uh, it's a material, like nick chrome, 
uh, it's my resistor, and all you do is you pass a, oh sorry, I haven't seen that yet. Uh, we'll connect it to the, I'll draw it like this. There's my plug. Not Game Boy, plug. Uh, and what happens is when the current goes through this, there's some resistance. And this resistance um, produces heat. So those, you know, you've seen, you ha maybe have them at home, the electrical heaters. They're on the wall. Oh, they're on the wall as well, the white ones, yeah. yeah. That's all it is. It's just something like Nick Chrome with a current passing through it. So let's look at the information. It's 20 centimeters long and five centimeters wide. So I'll draw that there for you. It's uh, 20 centimeters long here and five centimeters wide. Okay, so write this or draw this, please. Yeah. I wouldn't want to touch this now. Would it be the end of you? Yep. No, draw or write the information down. Right, so let's calculate how much resistance there is in this electric heater. Huh? Oh. Ah, no, see it's on the table. The values I gave you. Did you write them down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so what's the value for Nick Chrome? Nick Chrome. 1.10. Multiplied by 10. Minus seven. Yes, minus six. Is that the value for Nick Chrome? Yeah. Yep. Now, what's the value for the length? Zero point, Zero point two meters. And now, just to be very clear, when I say area, I mean the area at the end. This is what I mean by the area on the end. So what shape is this here? Circle. circle. So the area, what's the formula for a circle? Uh, pi uh, r squared. So that will be pi 0 0.025 squared. What's this please? KJ, you getting that? Uh, meters squared. Okay, and how do I know the area is a circle? Well, this is the thing. Um, in the exam, they only ever do two shapes, circle and square. That's what you tell me? Uh, no. Um, if it's a wire, wire, you can assume it's a circle because, you know, it's a wire. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, so, in fact, I th when I think about this question in the exam, I think... 19 out of 20 times it's a circle. And if it's not a circle, they'll let you know in the question. So if they don't tell you the shape, assume it's a circle. Oh yeah, if they don't tell you, if they just said a copper wire, assume it's a circle. Okay, so let's use our new formula. R equals rho L over A. So that's 0 0.196 times 0 0.2 over 1.1 times 10 to the minus 6. What's that, please? You wrote the wrong thing. No, you put the wrong thing. Did I? Yeah, but Oops, oh, man. Oh, yeah. What the WTF? Uh, 1.1 times 10 to the minus 6 times 0 0.2 over... 0 0.196 equals. Uh, wait a second. KJ, are you sure about this number here? This looks too big. Can you double check it? <laughs> wait, what is the number? Okay, Jane. Uh, right. 1.96 times 10 to the minus 3. That looks better. Okay, 
what number do we have here? Yeah, no calculator no, tonight. I don't have it. Oh good, we'll take Don't it out then. Take out. it out. Take it out. times 10 to the minus 4 oh. ohms. Okay. Um, so what would that be? Um, I think that's 1, 1, 2, 2 milli ohms if you wanted to write it like that. Yeah. No, it's not. No. no, forget it. Just write it like this. <laughs> Got that? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's okay. Okay, so there's only one example because there's only one formula and there's only one idea. So all these questions here, um, I gave you the table. Nickel, carbon, wood, copper. You have the table for the values, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I want you to do, um, you can take a picture of this on your phone. Uh, we, uh, I'll put it on Moodle later, yeah, but it'll be much later. So if you want to do it sooner, take the picture now, please. Tomorrow. Yeah, it'll probably be tomorrow. That's fine. As you wish. At least, can you at least pretend to take a picture? No, no let me at least pretend. I have a lot of pictures. Oh. Yes, and nice pictures, huh? Is yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I show you the I do that sometimes. Depends how you're using it. All right, you got that? Yeah. All right, uh, so I'll give you a couple of minutes break because you all kind of look dead. What's wrong with you today? Long day, long week? Long day. Long day. Um, if you need to go get a coffee, go do that now. You still have chemistry after this, don't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, five minute break. Go get coffee if you need to. What's your question?